Good morning everybody, my name is James Kegel. Today we're going to be creating a video using the Packet Tracer program provided to us by the Net Academy at Cisco. Uh, this Packet Tracer is 5.3.2.5. Um, it is exploring the Cisco iOS CLI. Okay, so what we're going to be doing on this one is we're going to go into the customer PC and we're going to get into the, uh, the command line interface within the router. Actually, the, within the router, not the PC, I apologize. And then we're just going to type in different commands. We're going to see what works, what doesn't work, uh, what the question mark does, you know, that sort of thing. That's a fairly simple one. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So what we want to do is when I come into the router, we're going to go to the CLI. Oh, hang on a second here. Okay. So basically what I was doing wrong is that I'm coming here and I'm trying to go in the CLI. You can't do that. Right? you got to go into the here. Right, and then you got to go to the desktop, and you got to go to the terminal. You can't get in the router without using some sort of hyper terminal. Okay, so we're in here. All right, now let's see if we can go ahead and get in to enable. Oh, enable it sets into the global. Okay, oh, uh oh, we'll get this back out here. Sorry about that. That's the sort of thing that happens when you're making videos. I apologize. Okay, so now what we're going to do, all right? So we're in here. We're going to come in here and we're going to, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to hit E, question mark. All right, we already went past that. We're supposed to do the E question mark that tells you the commands that come up for E. Okay, then we type enable, which gets you into the privilege exec mode, not the world, I'm sorry. Okay, now there's different ways that you can uh, do this sort of thing. When you get here, you know, mess around, type C, question mark, ooh, nothing there, C-O-N, question mark, right? Connect, is that what we were wanting to do? No, all right. So C O N F question mark. Comp. Okay. Con comp. Oh. <sighs> Alright. Now it's asking it can bring in terminal memory or network terminal. Is that what we're wanting to do? Mm, yeah, maybe. Alright, so what we're gonna do is okay, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go configure question mark okay so what do we want to configure want to configure the terminal the memory the network uh, let's go ahead I think that uh, we're gonna configure the the, uh, the terminal alright or the yeah okay hang on a second I apologize sorry okay so what we're gonna do now we're gonna just pull up some previously used commands Control P. Let's get back in there. Control P. How about Control N? Uh oh. Uh oh, nothing's happening. Hang on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to purposely enter the control terminal, all right? But we purposely spelled it wrong, all right? Ooh. So it's showing us it doesn't like this, all right? So what we're going to do now is we can we could pull up the last command that we've used, all right? The last ones, all right? You can use you can use up or down arrow. You can use Control P, Control N. It just shows you different things. All right. Now, what we'll do is we're gonna go back to here. You know, and so what we're basically gonna say, you know, what is what is the different things? The most the things that we use the most in this were the enable, 
in the uh, comp T. Okay, and if you were to, if you were to get something that looked like this, no. You know, it's asking you what that means. That just means there's nothing else that can go on the end of that command. Alright, so let's go ahead and. There we go. We've checked it and we passed it. We completed it successfully. Alrighty, thank you much for watching. This has been James Cagle on 5.3.2.5.